This is a short video to show all the stuff that I've hooked up on my new ECU GN from Turbo Tweak. There's a bit of a spaghetti on the side. Uh, the extra wiring on the right is for all the extra sensors I've added. So um, it's a bit messy right now. I'll, I'll straighten that out later. Anyway, back to me. So, we're going to start the car. With the laptop. This is the default screen. I've added a couple gauges because I have added some sensors. I've got an oil temp, a trans temp, oil pressure, fuel pressure, and trans pressure added. I've got two vehicle speeds here. The red one is actually the right front wheel. Yep. The uh, one on the right here is a uh, speed sensor installed at the drive shaft. Um, so we're going to uh, start the car, keep it on the thing. Starts right up. Look at the blinky lights. The box has indicators for each injector. Uh, white bands blinking and uh, some other things. So if you bring it back to the laptop here, we've got uh, readings from these temperature gauges. Here's our spark advance. The AFR comes in once the oxygen sensor heats up. So now we're at 12 to 1, 13 to 1. All the things read. You can watch the TPS going. We're at 13.3, coolant's at 152. Uh, car's warmed up because I just changed the transmission fluid. Now, uh, configuring these sensors, if you go up to here, you need to back up a little. There you go. And uh, generic sensor inputs. This is where you set your sensors up. And there's some wiring you got to do, and you can name them. Um, what you name them affects how they show up in various tools. Uh, one of the cool things on this is the uh, live tuning. Now this car is still warming up right now so it won't switch into auto learn mode and I've already auto learned this map but if you actually hit the start auto tune it'll start changing things as you drive and uh, when you're done with them you just hit apply and save on ECU and then stop the auto tune. Literally you can go out if your uh, air fuel chart is, is right it'll, it'll, it'll auto learn and, and adjust. Um, other settings are buried in uh, various places Okay, one of the things you can do with this is connect a tablet. This is Shadow Dash running. We're connected with a serial cable. It can also connect via Wi-Fi. And as you can see, it it works. Um, Shadow Dash is kind of cool because you can make your own dashboards. Or you can put different stuff on different dashboards. With a run on a tablet, you can actually add an external GPS sensor and it'll log your position too. Now, a lot of people bought Scan Master G's from Bob Bailey. You can see right here, it works. The ECU GN puts out a Scan Master data stream. So even though you've already spent $240 on this gauge, you don't have to throw it away. It will work with this device. It'll show you your VE. That's kind of like your block learn. Here's your AFR correction. This is how much the computer is changing things to uh, keep the uh, air fuel ratio where you want it. It still will do logs and triggers. And of course, it's got your speed, which we're not going anywhere, so that's zero. Coolant temp, air temp, RPM. So. All of this stuff hooks up and works, and uh, I've had it in the car a week, so uh, it doesn't take long to get it all going.